morning to you. It is windy outside. That is the first thing you're going to notice, and it just feels like there's storms on the way, right? It's warm, it's humid, it's windy. And those are three ingredients that are typically needed for storms to develop. And unfortunately, we got all three of them today. 10 to 15 mile per hour winds for the most part. We have some stronger winds in Tyler, but it's a little windier in Tyler because we have more variation in elevation for Tyler than a lot of the surrounding cities. Now, temperature wise, we are in the low to middle 70s currently, and we will continue to see these temperatures warm throughout the day. As a result, that's going to prime up the atmosphere this evening for some severe weather, especially out to our west. Now what you're going to notice is that some scattered supercell thunderstorms are going to form along the I-35 corridor, and if they can hold together, they will move into our region and present a slight risk of severe weather. Let's go ahead and talk about what that means on future cast. Again, not a lot going on through about 7 o'clock this morning, just a few clouds. If you're lucky, you might feel a raindrop. That's about it. Dry line out to the west and you can see those supercells that I was talking about just to the west of the I-35 corridor and any of these can rotate and produce some large hail. Now watch what happens as they move eastward. That was four o'clock. This is six o'clock. They get closer to our area by six o'clock. Still individual storms and those are the dangerous ones, but as they move in, they're going to consolidate a little bit and what they're going to do is they're going to form one or two storms that may turn into somewhat of a line and present a damaging wind threat. Anytime you see this backward C or this Boeing segment from Longview Gilmer to Henderson, typically that means it's got some pretty strong winds. It's got some umph to it, but that will move out. And I think by midnight we're going to see a little lull in the activity, but here comes the cold front that's out to our west. I'll step out of the way just so you can get a better look at it. Storms by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, this will be the next round of storms, and we're going to see these storms on a come and go basis, especially for Toledo Bend for early tomorrow morning. Now, here are your severe weather threats. As I mentioned, anytime you see the Boeing or line of storms, your main threat's going to be damaging winds, but all these others <laughs> are certainly in play, and we could see that large hail threat increase if those storms do a better job of holding together than what Futurecast is predicting for us. So, all modes of severe weather are possible and we can't rule out any of those modes. We do hit 85 degrees for a high temperature today, 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms, but that is mainly after five o'clock this evening. Prior to midnight tonight, possible severe thunderstorms, and then as we move into after midnight, we get a little lull, but scattered storms are expected throughout the day tomorrow. That's why I've got our rain chances at about 60%. 80s Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will hit 76 Monday. Lauren? Thank you, Carson.